Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with orange zest beef. And you know the problem with calling something orange beef? People think you're trying to make Chinese food, and I'm not. So this is not authentic Chinese food. This is not even authentic fake Chinese food. Although it is inspired by that incredibly unhealthy deep fried orange beef that you get at the Chinese takeout places. Okay, to start, we're gonna cut up about a pound of beef. You're gonna wanna use something that's tender, even if it's just cooked quickly. So beef tenderloin trimmings would be my first choice. New York strip also works. Ribeye would also work. Even top sirloin would work. Now you can cut this in any kind of shapes you want. I'm going with cubes here. You could also cut this in slices. As long as it's all the same size and it cooks evenly, you're good to go. All right, once the meat is cut, I'm gonna to toss it in a mixing bowl and we're gonna add our marinade. I'm gonna pour over a little bit of orange juice, freshly squeezed, of course, some rice vinegar, seasoned rice vinegar, some hot pepper, I'm using some sambal, but any ground chili will work, some soy sauce, some freshly minced garlic, and some light brown sugar. And we're gonna mix that up, and when all that is thoroughly combined, we're gonna cover it, and we're gonna refrigerate for one hour to marinate. Now you could go longer, I just don't know how much longer. All right, I'm sure a couple hours is fine. Overnight, because this is an acidic marinade, might be too long, because those pieces of beef are pretty small. So you don't want it to cook in the marinade. So I'm gonna put that away for one hour while I get the rest of my ingredients together. All right, so it's called orange zest beef, so we're gonna need orange zest, which is really easy if you have one of these, a zester. It's got these little holes, you just drag it across the zest, and you just get the good part. See that, there's no white, it's not bitter. It's pure orange flavor. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a rough chop with a knife. I don't want finely minced, just like that. Looks good. I'm also gonna chop up some green onion. I got a bunch here. And I'm gonna chop the whole thing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna segregate, which is okay in this context. I'm gonna separate the light and the dark parts sort of roughly with a knife. I'm gonna put those lighter parts in first. Those are a little denser. And then I'll throw in those green tops later. Really doesn't matter, you can do it all at once, but I like to put it in two additions. All right, an hour later, I was ready for the beef. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a slotted spoon and a strainer, and I'm gonna scoop the beef into the strainer, but make sure I'm doing that over the bowl because I wanna use all that liquid for the sauce. So just let that drain really well. And then to the marinade, I'm gonna add some water and just a little touch of cornstarch. That's gonna thicken up the sauce, and I'm using just a very small amount here. So just give that a whisk until it all dissolves and set it aside till needed. Next, we're going over to the stove. I'm gonna put my skillet on high, high heat, and I'm just gonna give it a little spritz with the vegetable oil. This is a very low fat version of the deep fried takeout orange zest beef. So we're gonna do this all in a saute pan. Once that's really hot, I'm gonna throw my beef in, and then we're not gonna do anything for one minute. All right, one minute later, I'm gonna give this a toss around. Now you're gonna see a little bit of browning, a little bit of caramelization, not surprising. The sugars in the orange juice and of course the brown sugar are gonna cook onto the surface and it's gonna look pretty good and you're gonna be getting all excited, but don't. All that stuff's gonna come off into the sauce. But don't worry, it's supposed to be like that. So we gave it a minute, we tossed it. I give it one more minute, so it's been two minutes so far. I'm gonna to toss in the green onions, the light parts, and my orange zest. I'm gonna cook that for about 30 seconds. And again, why you have to use a tender beef here, like a beef tenderloin or a sirloin, is because this is only cooking a couple minutes and it just doesn't have enough time to break down. So if you're using things like rump roast or chuck, it's just gonna be too tough. So we're gonna stir in the zest and the onions. And again, that's only gonna go for about 30 seconds. And then we're adding the liquid. We're gonna dump that in. And don't be nervous when you first pour it in. It looks kind of weird, looks kind of cloudy. Don't worry, as soon as it starts bubbling and boiling and reducing, it looks like that, which is looking pretty good. And at this point, if you did save the green tops to your onions, throw them in now, because we're almost done. Because you're using a beautiful big wide pan on high heat, this is gonna reduce and thicken really quickly. And as soon as that thickens and reduces and looks like that, turn off the heat, because you're done. I'm gonna taste, I'm gonna adjust the seasoning. Most likely, it will need a little bit of salt, or you saw me put in a little bit of soy there, and that, was that. So I threw that over some rice and I was very, very happy. Relatively low fat, bursting with flavor. So I really think you're gonna enjoy this as long as you don't think, man, I wish this was that deep fried beef that's covered in the spicy orange sauce that I get at that Chinese takeout place. Because if you're comparing it to that, this loses. Because generally deep fried anything is gonna be more exciting to your palate than something that's just quick sauteed in a pan like this. And we know that, but that's fine. That's not what this is. It's supposed to be a super quick, relatively healthy weeknight dinner. And that's what it was for me. And I hope that's what it is for you. All right, so I hope you give that a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more information as usual.
And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.